Hi everyone, I'm Casey Martin from Wine Country Woodworks and Wine Country Mica Powder. And this is going to be a fun video where I am casting some dyed burl and some multi-dye stabilized burl as well. So you can see on the right that was clearly all red. This one has a handful of colors in it. And then so does the one on the left. What's really fun about these is that I usually dye stabilize these and then don't cast them for a while. So a lot of the time, unless it's clearly something that's a solid color, like the one on the far right, it's hard to know exactly what's inside. So it's always kind of fun once they're cast to cut them up and see what's inside. So one of the things I've started doing over the last year or so, rather than using hot glue everywhere, because it just creates a mess and is you know prone to sometimes getting into the resin and it's just in, in my opinion if you can do something like i've done there where you can either use some duct tape and tape down the wood from floating and moving around and you can also use scrap pieces of hdpe as i used on the left to to tape down as well with the HDPE, it's nice because you can still get a flat surface to stack on. You know, if like these, for instance, I put side by side and then I'll put the third mold on the bottom parts or the top parts. So I'm filling up uh, my cups with Alumalite Part A right now, which I always do both of them separate when I'm doing multiple pours. So what I mean by that is I'm doing three different cups. So I'll fill them all up with the part A of Alumalite first, and then I'll go through and fill up the part B. That way, if I'm ever doing a complex pour, which this not it isn't necessarily complex at all, but if I am, I get a few more seconds of working time mixing them all up at the same time rather than kicking one off earlier than the others. So one of the things I wanted to mention um, is that I'm currently doing a Black Friday sale on my website, One Country Woodworks. It's 20% off. And I'm also going to be doing a 20% off Black Friday sale on Wine Country Mica Powder as well. So definitely go check those out. I'll have a link in the video description and also in the top right corner of the screen, there will be a little I you can click as well. So definitely go check them out. I'm using Wine Country Mica Powder in all three of these pours that you'll see momentarily. And I'm just so, so happy with the colors and, and how they turned out. It's, it's really, really fun for me to share them all with you. So definitely go check those out. I think I will eventually be carrying some new items as well, like some holographic flakes and, and things like that. But got a awesome lineup of different macro color shift, which I'll use some glow in the dark powder that I've used in past videos and all the different types of cool colors. So definitely check it out. So right now I'm just filling up the part B trying to be as precise as possible. But one of the tips I wanted to throw out there when it comes to filling up uh, the part B with Illumilite is you can always go over a little. You of course don't want to go over a crazy amount, but having a little bit more of part B is not an issue. It's going to help you get less striations if you're doing a really clear pour, which one of these will be. And if anything, it'll just make things a little harder. Little tip that I'm doing right here, because on the far right, I'm going to be just doing a transparent red, is I just grab a popsicle stick and just get a little bit of red dye. You know, you could see there was a little bit close to the cap on that dye bottle. So I just grab a little and it's perfect. I'm going to have a nice vibrant transparent red. So I'm using silver holographic from Wine Country Mica Powder for the middle. I really, really love this stuff. I later on and right here try to show on camera, but really uh, it's, it's something you got to see in person. The way it shimmers, you can see it a little bit in this shot too, um, but it's, it's awesome. There's a couple versions of holographics that I have. And on the left, I'm doing the macro color shift, which you can see when it hits the resin right there that's another good shot of you can see the purple and the blue of how it looks in person again it's also really hard to catch on camera because of the way the light refracts the the human eye can see it a lot better but when i do all four of the macro color shifts like this when you get a really cool up close shot and i try to later on 
it really looks like a rainbow you get all these different colors shifting and when the light hits it and it refracts a different color it just looks looks really awesome and one of the things that my buddy Zach Higgins, if you guys haven't checked out his YouTube channel, definitely check him out. But one of the things he discovered with these macro shifts is you can mix them with a lot of other colors and get really, really cool effects. Like he tried it with some of the Wine Country Mica powder glow in the dark colors. He's tried it with a few others. So anyway, a really cool, versatile type of powder that I haven't seen anywhere else. And in that shot too, you can see a little bit of that kind of iridescence rainbow like uh, effect. And here's the, the holographic getting poured. Again, you can see a little bit of that, that color uh, refracting off and throwing a bunch of different shades, which is really, really cool as well. And here is the red. I ended up not I ended up not mixing up enough resin, so I had to come back later and just pour a little bit more. But fortunately, since this wasn't a complex pour, I wasn't up against the clock. So I filled up my pressure pot to a little over 50 PSI and had it in there for about an hour and a half. And here is how they look when they came out. The red cured crystal clear, really, really happy with that and really happy with the others as well. And so next up, we'll be cutting them on the table saw, you can kind of get a glimpse right now of, of what the uh, the color shift is going to look like, especially right there when it's nice and thin towards the bottom and the sides on, on some of those holographic and color shifts. So next up, we'll be cutting these on the table saw. And I also, in this video of this time lapse, I'm cutting up a few others that I made. And so all of these will be for sale on my Etsy, which the link will be in the video description and also in the top right as well, if you're interested in purchasing any of these. What I love about making these size blocks and encourage anybody out there um, to look into casting themselves or buying for any projects that you may have in mind is they're super versatile. So you can make pens out of them, you can make knife scales for handles out of them, you could make four different sized large handles for utensils or something. And here I am, starting to apply some boiled linseed oil and this one really surprised me i didn't realize that it was going to be a dark green in there and a little bit of black and there is that silver holographic uh again it's hard to capture on camera but you can see it there a little bit this one was a really cool surprise and seeing how the wood i didn't anticipate any red or green in there either and there's some black in here so red green and black looks looks really really cool I like all of the different color variations. Let me know what you guys think down below and, and which one is your favorite. I also included a couple of those other that I cut as well. So this is, this is probably my second favorite. My favorite is actually not, well, I would say that is tied for second with this. There, one is either a close second or close third. I really, really like the transparent red with with the red burl i think it looks really really cool but my favorite is actually one that i didn't cast here because i had no idea how awesome the burl was going to turn out until i cut it but i do really really like this one and then the 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 second one that i showed with the macro color shift Here's one of them that I really like as well. It was one of them that I cast before doing the video, but really, really like all the different colors. And this is my favorite that I was talking about. I had no idea how wild the colors were gonna be inside. It's just awesome. There's so many of them. Like the video if you guys liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're new and like this content. I'm going to be trying to do some more videos like this where they're not necessarily a how-to video, just a video to do some fun casting and, and share with you all because I'd like to have more videos out on the channel a lot more regularly, which I've been slacking with. So anyway, like I said, check out those Black Friday sales if you are interested in any of them. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you all soon.